Lene Kakabadze. I am from Georgia, so I work at Eliava Institute of Bacteriophages. I'm doing my PhD thesis there. Uh, yeah, and mostly we are working on isolation of uh, phages for therapeutic use, but not exclusively. So it was just continuation of my academic <laughs> pathway. So, uh, Where did you start? Did you do biology first? Or? Yeah, I did biology, I did some... Uh, my thesis of master was about uh, heavy metal contamination and remediations, mm -hmm. but then you know, I started some practicing in the Liava Institute and then I continued my PhD there. <laughs> of course, my phage is our favorite for <laughs> yeah. me, of course. What is, yeah. what is your phage? Uh, so, my phages, which are part of the thesis, are enterococcus phages mostly, but um, we isolate it for different species over this time, so I cannot even say specifically. Okay. So genetically engineering would be easier, of course, you can create a phage that can kill your target bacteria faster, mm -hmm. uh, it can be more controlled, but the main pro problem is the regulations, and the regulations are pretty strict. Uh, even for the nature of phages, in Europe you are not allowed to use them in the, in the therapy. So now a lot of people are trying fighting to change this regulation so the phage therapy will be accepted but to talk about the gen modified phages in therapy I think it's too early right now but mm -hmm. maybe at some point it can be implemented mm -hmm. but it, at this point uh, it's just regulations it's pharma business so it's a little bit yeah. <laughs> With the resistance growth of the bacteria, um, I think if it will become a problem and you would need a solution uh, at some point, maybe the solution will be the gen-modified phage. But let's see, maybe just natural phages can do the job. For example, even five years ago and ten years ago, uh, in these regions, they were not thinking about applying phage therapy because they did not see the need. But now, the resistance increases, so they are starting to look for these alternatives. And now, the first step is the natural phages. But also, in this case, it's a long way to go for the regulation part. But after this, let's see how it will involve, because patient always will need a treatment, and in the acute cases especially, Maybe it's worse to take a risk and if you have the um, treatment applied, if it's modified or not. But in other cases, it's a pharma business and it's a lot of interest and some money. So in this case, maybe even a very good drug can be blocked just because it's a yeah. pharma business. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a common medicine and it's sold and prescribed as uh, any other medicine. The problem comes when it goes to Europe and US and other uh, countries. So Yes, sure, because uh, here what I see, you are really working with a new technology and it's really what the phage therapy lacks, implementation of new technology, because um, uh, now it's working, uh, how to say, in a more old-fashioned way, because it's good enough, uh, and with our also regulations and treatments, it works fine, but when it's coming here and introduced in new world and also the scaling up because there's more people that might need the phage uh, there's where this technological help from the young scientists and you know different engineers and the, um, informatics people and so can make this you know whole concept more available for 
nations. Single problem, I cannot you know, say one single problem. There are uh, mostly technical problems, protocols. That's what I see. Um, mostly it's a lab, <laughs> lab related uh, problems and so lack of research and lack of knowledge also. Okay. Uh, because it can be much more better uh, with uh, more research, I guess. And yeah, but you know, as for any other drug. You go to the human, it's a big responsibility at this point. Uh, but there is no way, you know, to test your product directly on people. But if uh, the technology is good, good enough, then maybe you can come very close in, in vitro. Mm -hmm. And the in vivo would be kind of same and you don't risk with the mm -hmm. pr proper applications.